Hello everyone, I hope you are well. Uh, so here we go, I'm here with another video on the VFS login error. I had made a previous video where if you uh, are experiencing this issue where it gives you your username and password is incorrect, uh, then how you can solve that problem. I've got, I've pasted the link in the description for my previous videos and uh, follow those instructions. The one which had uh, to clear your cache, try incognito mode, change your internet connection. For example, if you're on uh, Wi-Fi, disable that Wi-Fi on your phone, use your 4G connection or if you're using 4G, enable Wi-Fi and vice versa. If you're at home, maybe try hotspotting hot from your phone. Um, so all these methods uh, are explained in those videos uh, where you can follow them and resolve your issue. Uh, now, let's say if you have done all those, those things and you're still experiencing a problem, um, let me give you a new solution um, and hopefully that's going to work for most of you guys. So what happens, our VFS Global um, link is all, always saved in our browser and we what we people do is just simply try to use that link again and log into our account so let's say for example i'm trying to log into this account let's see if it's gonna let me go in or not so look at this i'm trying this and it's i just hit this error straight away username or password does not match yeah let me zoom in for you guys yeah so that's the one username and password does not match and you're gonna hit it again and again so let's me let me show you how we can uh, solve this issue so what you do you go www.vfsglobal.com do not go to google do not search it and then click on any of the links which appear there because it might take you to to, to a different part of the portal so we just want to go to the main portal now when you are on the main portal you scroll down a little bit where it says I'm applying from, select the country name. And, and I'm going to wherever you are going, you just select that country name. Sometimes the auto save options pop up. Do not do that, do not select them, just cross them and make sure you select from the list which appears on actual website, which is like a flag and the name. Do not select it from the auto save form. Once you do that, and then it's gonna give you this option, take me to the website. It's gonna take you to the website straight. And once you are on the website here, now you've got multiple options, apply for a visa, find a center, premium service, your apartment. You've already applied for a visa, so you don't want to select any of these ones or find a center. All you want to do is log in back to your account for any reason, let's say uploading an account, uh, uploading documents, or you just want to look at the account or track the application or whatever. So let's just go, we say your appointment and we sign into our appointment. Now here we go, to, uh, two, three different options, yeah? Now the first one it says, if you have started your visa application but not yet completed, then you click on this link. Now that's what not what we want. We have completed our application. Now what we want, we want to log in back into our account. So you're gonna go and select this option where it says if you have submitted your online visa application you have up to 240 days to book an appointment okay so just say book now and that's going to take you back to the obviously the main page and now let's just try here now let's see if it works for us again you reference your email address and sign in and there we go your issue is resolved so if you are looking for this problem that's resolved for you now coming to the second part of this video now i know many of our uh, applicants from pakistan uh, if they have applied for visa now all of them are in the same situation if the, their appointment was in this week or it is in this week they they're facing a big problem the the roads are blocked the the city is blocked no one can go in for their appointment now hear me uh, i'm, I'm going to tell you this i had this problem before i faced this situation the visa application center what they had done they themselves, well, they did nothing basically. I did not reschedule my appointment. And obviously I could not go, it's a valid reason. We spoke to them and then they were like, yeah, what you need to do is just whenever the things are better, just walk in with the application, with the appointment confirmation you had. So, but don't go by my words this time. Please do speak to them first. Uh, if you can reschedule it, in this case, I'm rescheduling this application because 
I had uh, scheduled it for this week and I guess things are not looking good. And I don't think that, you know, we will have access uh, by the 27th of December. So I'm just going to delay the application a little bit more and see, you know, uh, if, if, if things will be better by that time. So I am doing this. And then just to let you know that the rescheduling you can do twice it, as per the old uh, portal. Now, this portal is new. Maybe we have more turns or maybe we don't have more turns. I don't know. But as per the old terms, we had two options. So I'm hoping that I will have another rescheduling turn after this one so I can, you know, look at the situation and if things are better, then I can just reschedule it into an earlier state. Now, let's just, I'm going to show you how you can reschedule an appointment. Um, but if you are in this situation, do not worry. You guys will get a chance to submit your application. Uh, the, the application center, obviously, they are aware of the situation. So they will definitely give you another appointment to come in and submit the applications. Okay, so what you do, when you, once you are on the main page, you go to reschedule an appointment. Select the appointment, which is already there. Now I'm going to reschedule it. Hit reschedule. It's going to give me multiple options which are available. Now look at this. I want to reschedule it for Monday, the 2nd of December. And I want to select a slot for, let's say, 2 p.m. Just to be on the safe side. And once that's done, yeah, double check it. Then you say continue and check again. Make sure everything is good. Your application center, the appointment details, they're all good. That's what you want, the date and the time. Now, if you're happy with that, check your phone number and then say, I have read and I agree to the terms and condition. And then you will go and hit confirm. Okay, here we go. Luckily, the application, uh, the appointment has been rescheduled. Now it says we have sent you a confirmation email with your appointment details. Sometimes people do not receive the email. So it's best, and I will say it's wise, to just say, uh, click here to download a copy. So let's just go download a copy, and there we go. The copy has been downloaded. So we're just going to be stay on the safe side. So I hope, uh, let, let's check if the application has come through. Uh, well, still I'm waiting for the email to come through. Okay, so the email hasn't come through yet. Hopefully it's gonna come. It takes sometimes five, 10 minutes to come into your email inbox. So I hope this uh, information has been informative for and helpful for some of you people out there. Uh, do subscribe to our channel. Keep watching our videos uh, and we'll keep you informed. Any other video on the VFS Global, any ex issues you guys are experiencing, do let me know and I'll help you sort that out. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.